using a lapel mic because I don't want to give the boom pole from the car. Hi. Hi there. Today we're talking about this light over here, which is a Goldox VL300. I've been using this light as my main key light on every job I've had for the past three months. And I thought I would share some of my thoughts, some of the stuff that I like, some of the stuff that I didn't like. Uh, my name is... When I got this light, I made a unboxing video, kind of. Uh, just kind of sharing my first impressions and kind of first thoughts into this light, which most of it is still very relevant, I would say. It was uh, a light that I needed. First of all, I needed a strong, reliable source light. But also, I was gonna get the Aperture 300D, pretty similar power as well, so I didn't see much difference. And the price obviously drives you to get something like this. So if you're in the market to getting a light like this, this video might be helpful for you. So make sure you watch all the way to the end. A lot of information here that might be very useful for you. So um, things that I still like, and things that I enjoy about this light is it is very bright, it's incredibly reliable, it's a strong light, it's good materials, it's um, very versatile, uh, it takes V-mount batteries and it plugs into the wall. The cord that comes with a very long, having, if I was in a room where there was um, wall power, the, it didn't matter what I wanted to be in the room with this light, I could reach it. Um, I'm, I've been playing around with different things, kind of either using the dome, which is something that I also talked about in the previous video. That is by far one of the best things you need to buy if you're getting this light. You should definitely buy a dome. Just because of the type of soft image that you get, it's incredible. It's the best kind of suiting. It works for, works really well for skins, it works really well for um tonality it is a very quality light which is something i do really appreciate overall the light works exactly as i wanted it to work it's, it does the job and it's well built and it looks like it's gonna last for a decent amount of time and it has lasted so far even though i've been on many jobs since i bought it and i literally used it every time but not without some hellbacks and I think that's where we kind of fall into the negative aspect of this light, which there's a few. And I'm sharing these not just to bash on the light or the company or whatever, uh, more because if you're someone that are looking to buy one of these lights, you should bear in mind some of the things that may happen, you know? Because it's so easy to buy a light and it looks great out of the box. And within a couple of months, certain things start popping out. The first thing that annoys me on the light is the this cable right here. This cable over here is one of a kind. And I mean literally one of a kind. I don't have anything else that uses any similar type of lighting. So if by any reason I forget that cable, that's it, I can't use the light because without that, this cable we can source power into the light meaning that you're screwed luckily that hasn't happened to me i make sure to always store that into the bag which again another plus i was very happy with the bag in the beginning still very happy with the bag because it contains everything uh, i make sure to always store everything from the light inside the bag so i never had this issue but it's very annoying that such a small thing might get in the way of everything because if you're relying on this light like I am to be your main source of light and for some reason you forget one small cable, that's it, there's, there's nothing you can do. It's not an easy cable that you can just go to any shop and get it, it's something that is very particular. I don't know, maybe I'm just, I just haven't seen them before, but. I have never came across cables like this before. Uh, another thing that I noticed, this one was very recently. I had this very intense 10 day shoot that we pretty much use those lights every day. Uh, as our main, 
backlight, everything we needed. This was our main and most of the time only light. It goes from the knob. Between the knob and the, the light itself, there is this rubber thing that is supposed to help you tie it up your, the light so it holds on better. Uh, that snapped. I don't actually know exactly when it happened, but it happened. I haven't gone around to try and fix it or replace it, but it's something that when I noticed, I was a little bit disappointed because you just expect those things to be the best as they can be because if you're putting especially a, a very heavy dome in front of your light, you need to know that it's gonna hold up because that can fall very easily, hurt somebody or just damage itself. You wanna make sure that whenever you, you're tightening something up on your light, it's gonna stay the way you uh, intended to. Another thing that, kind of a bummer, um, I don't have V-mount batteries, but we did had a couple of V-mount batteries in this job and we were using them all the time. But something that we noticed very fast is how it doesn't hold up properly. How the, the power supply thing has, has V-mounts into it so you can place the battery straight into it, which is amazing because it cuts down a lot of the cable. So if, even if you're indoors and you don't just don't want to have a bunch of cables around, you can have batteries. But I noticed that the V-mount batteries weren't holding up properly. Either they would slide off or the light would turn off, or honestly, they were just not holding. And I think the last thing that has bugged me with this light a little bit was the whole thing that I mentioned on the other video. Okay, let's say the remote is on 30% and then this is on 30%. And then I come here and put this down to like 16%. If I try to change the remote again, it's gonna go up to 30 and then do the changes that I made. So it's kind of annoying that the remote and the device itself doesn't communicate so that when you change it on the device, the remote doesn't know that you changed. It's odd. I ended up not using the remote as much just because I couldn't rely. And the fact that it didn't go down to 1%, I thought it wasn't gonna bother me as much, but it did a little bit more because I wish I could rely on a remote control or something like that. Cause you don't wanna have, like you're looking at the camera and your light is over there and you're like, oh, I need like a, a, a hair down. Being able to just like stick your hand and press a button and that's it would be ideal But the fact that I had to leave the camera go over there change is it, just a burden and I feel like It's more annoying than it should have been and I wish it wasn't I know it sounds horrible, but I that's what we do We criticize the stuff that we enjoy the most because I've been using this light pretty much every day even for these YouTube videos most of the YouTube videos I think all the YouTube videos since I bought this light has been shot with this light. Right now I have a ridiculous setup, but that's better. That is a nice, beautiful, strong light. Uh, maybe I didn't take as good care as I should have, but again, it's a tool. Need to be used as a tool. If I buy a light like this and I treat it like it's a baby, I won't take the full advantage of it. So I fully believe that you should be treating your kit as a tool. I don't mean bash it around or destroy it, but don't hold back on pushing the equipment to be what you need the equipment to be. If I would recommend this light, I would, I would. I really enjoy this light, especially with the dome. Something that I would say be aware of is the stand. I bought a stand is what they recommend for that light and the stand was fine for a while but suddenly it just stopped knobbing closing tightening it just stopped so i had to buy a different stand and then the stand that i bought wasn't as big as the first one that i bought then i had to get sandbags for it it's by c stands that's what i would say buy this light by c stands by dome all right thank you for watching thank you for your time this is it for today that's i hope this was useful helpful informative or any of the above all right if you like this kind of videos hit subscribe 
Other than that, I'll see you here next Monday. It's gonna be the last one of the year. Okay, bye.